Hello, um, I'm out today fertilizer spreading, so I thought I would really like to introduce you guys to our brand new Valtran Ganide. So what we've done is we've taken everything we knew makes a user interface simple, taken all of the feedback we've got over the past two years since we launched Smart Touch, and we've refreshed our map page with what we call Valtra Guide. As you can see, there's only one button here now, so there's the auto steering button, you press that, and you go straight to the map page. From this page, you can now do everything, so you don't need to navigate in between any pages. Uh, for starters, simply tap the screen, and you'll go into your Wayline settings. So from here, you can choose Go Mode, which is obviously the super simple um, way to make a Wayline. Um, we all know it, you simply press Go, press OK, drop point A, drive forward 10 meters, drop point B, and you got your way line made. And then you can just literally start steering along that way line. Perfect. Then you've also got advanced mode. So with advanced mode, we can create fields and create field boundaries, um, depending on how we'd like to do it. So um, if you want to create a boundary, simply choose which side of the track you'd like to start recording on. I'm going to choose the right hand side. Press record, start driving. It's really that simple. So while we're recording this boundary, um, I can also record a wayline at the same time. Simply press the new wayline. I'm going to do an AB, straight AB. Let's go. At least 10 meters. I'm going to drive the length for this field edge here, um, which is quite a long run. Um, and then we'll make the wayline at the end, and then we have the wayline. So I'm coming up to the end of the run right now. I'm just going to stop recording the wayline. So simply press point B. Now I can give it a name, so I'm just going to call it East Edge. And now I've saved that wayline. And now I'll continue saving the boundary. So as you can see, I'm up to the end of the field. I'm just going to hit Save on the boundary. Boundary's now recorded. You can adjust your headland width here from the menu. So you can choose 24, for example, today. I'm doing a 24 meter wide headland. And then there you have it. You've now made your field and your way lines with your boundary. So I'm going to start spreading now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the maps page so I can turn on section control and select my way lines. Um, first of all, you'll notice that we're now on the uh, driving display screen. So something which you can now do is if you double tap the display, you will now go to the settings menu directly. So no need to navigate for any extra. Okay, so now I'm here in the field. Um, I'm just going to turn on my spreader. I'm going to PTO on. Engine revs on, and I'm going to hit start on the spreader. I'm using today Smart Touch Extend, so I have my Isobus implement up on the right hand side. Now, all I need to do now is start driving. I have auto guidance turned on, and as I get to the row, I'll turn on the auto guidance, and off we go. You'll also see that the spreader will start spreading fully automatically. There we have it, I'm now in the row. I'm just a little bit off, so I'm just going to use the nudge buttons just to nudge me a little bit across. Um, there we go, perfect. And as you can see, section control is on. Those settings aren't exactly what I'd like, so I'm just going to go and change uh, the overlap settings. So I'm just going to pop on 75% because we're doing some first spreading, so I want to make sure we get most of it. And also on the boundary, I'm just going to pop 75% on as well. So when you're driving in the drive display, um, you can now simply double tap the maps quadrant and you'll go straight to your auto guidance screen where you can have full functionality and you can change whatever settings you want. Um, again, you can then also swipe across to go to your next screen if you want. So here you actually have a, a page with all your uh, correction signal information on. And then if you go back to the quadrant screen, you can see we now have down here this quadrant with the correction signal. If you are running without Smart Touch Extend, you could have your Isobus um, implement here, so you wouldn't have to be jumping between screens all the time. You could have them both running, and it's a simple double tap to get to the settings menu. In Valtra Guide, you only have one page for auto guidance, and from there you can find everything. You can find your way lines, you can find your correction signal settings, you can find section control, variable rate, um, pretty much anything you need for auto guidance is found from one page. That page can be accessed directly from the quadrant display, so that's your driving display, 
or from the home menu. So you don't have to jump between menus, you don't have to look in multiple places for it. And also, what's really important is there's only one way really to get to it, so you can't be confused about how you've got there. You can always find your way around. Um, so basically, if you know our old system, you'll also be able to use this. And if you're brand new to Veltra, don't worry, it is as simple as you can imagine. Um, it takes about five minutes to learn it, and then you'll be on your way. All right, that really is about it. So we think you guys are going to like Veltra Guide. I am uh, going to carry on first spreading. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and we'll talk again. Valtra, your working machine.